Hey everybody, so it has been a while now. As you have noticed, I haven't put up a video for several weeks now. It is the fall river salmon fishing season and uh, we have been busy fishing and filming, trying to put together several videos for you in the um, upcoming months. I have about eight episodes actually just stacking up, waiting, installing a little bit. Um, like I said, being out trying to uh, capture as much as we can right now while the fishing is good. But I promise that these videos will be coming out pretty soon. I'm going to be doing a video, a short video today on a topic that quite a few of you have been asking um, in the last several weeks, which is bait. What bait do you use when it comes to river fishing for salmon and steelhead? Well, the obvious answer is salmon roll. So salmon eggs comes in chunks. Um, it's what we typically use um, if you want to use bait. And uh, it is very effective. It's very scented, it's natural, and uh, when fish grab onto this, they tend to hold on to it for a little longer than artificials. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of like my preferred uh, bait when it comes to fishing for salmon and steelhead. I believe it's coho or chum salmon roe that I have cured up with Pulski bait fire cure. It does get pretty messy and you can see my hands already getting pretty good up and uh, this is not very nice, uh, especially on a really cold day. And if you're just starting out um, uh, river fishing for salmon and steelhead, this can be a hassle. So there is a better alternative for this, which is tying these into roll bags or egg sacks. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so what we have is, we have some, oh, here it is. We have some spawn nets. This is Atlas Mike's uh, spawn nets. And you can buy these in, either in one long row of mesh that you can cut up into small pieces. Or you can buy them in pre-cut squares. So these are three, three inch by three inch squares, comes in different colors. We got some peach, we got orange, we got pink. They also come in white and uh, yellow and other colors as well. But this is kind of like the three colors I like to use. So today we're gonna use some orange mesh. I like to lay these out onto, let's say, um, paper towels. And the reason we have paper towels is I don't want to mess up my table over here. And that just means more cleanup I have to do. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, well, you can use your fingers if you want, or you can use a spoon, uh, scoop up these uh, pre-cut pieces of roll and put them onto the uh, squares. So you can pre-cut your roll chunks into different sizes because sometimes fish don't want big bait and they want small ones and other times they want big presentations. Okay, so now that we have all the roll chunks laid out on the mesh, we're gonna grab one of this. This is um, the Miracle Thread made by Atlas Mikes and it's a elastic thread that you can use to tie the mesh into bags without having to tie a knot um, because it's, it stretches and it, it ties itself up pretty easily. Simply grab one of the squares, grab the four corners and fold them up into like dumplings, I guess, and keep folding up until you have a, I guess a little bowl in the end, okay? And then you kind of pinch down at the very bottom of the four corners and uh, grab your miracle thread and you just wrap. And you wrap about anywhere from five to 10 times and just snap like that. And there it is. So that's one roll back. And we're gonna do the same for the other ones. So the next thing we wanna do is to trim the excess mesh 
off the back. There you go. So that's one nice roll back ready to go. And uh, this works great for cold salmon. You can use for Chinook salmon. You can use for steelhead. Um, especially so in the winter time for winter steelhead. This is very, very handy on a really cold day. You can have a whole bunch of these stored in the container. Simply thread this onto the hook and you'll be fishing right away. If you don't have um, roll readily available, um, you can also buy a jar of single eggs. So these are Potsky Bait uh, Green Label uh, single eggs. You can simply grab a, a few eggs and uh, do your dumpling again. Grab the Miracle Thread and just tie and there you go so this actually will work really well for steelhead you can you can even use this for trout fishing as well nice and simple so next thing is that how do we put these on a hook and it's pretty easy really for most people you simply have to grab a so grab a hook and uh, you just thread it onto just below where you you tie the row back so you can thread it on like that and and there it is your other option of hooking the row sack is uh, which which is actually what I normally do is to have that bait loop out again and just thread that row sack all the way up to the um, to the top loop the I guess the shank of the hook and uh, wrap that rose sack around with the bait loop once so it's kind of secured near the um, the eye of the hook like so so this way for sure that rose sack it will never fall off the only problem with having your rose sack like this I've noticed this quite quite a few times is that this row sack, if this one is a little small, but if it's a little bigger, it may turn around uh, during the drift and uh, having the mesh caught up at the tip of the hook, um, leaving that tip unexposed. And that can definitely affect your uh, hookup um, rate. So definitely check on that if you decide to do it that way. So one thing to note about row sack is that um, um, this is synthetic. So once you finish using your row sack, um, be sure to not dispose this at the river. We don't want to be leaving more garbage at the watershed. Um, have a Ziploc bag with you and uh, have these um, disposed in your bag and take it home uh, and throw away in the garbage when you get home. Don't mix the used row sack with the unused row sacks because um, the used ones tend to be very waterlogged and you don't want to be uh, introducing that water to the, um, the new row sacks because that will just make them wet and waterlogged at, too. So um, definitely keep that in mind. So there you have it. I hope that's somewhat helpful. And when it comes to bait fishing for salmon and steelhead and trout. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave it on the bottom in the comment. I'm always happy to answer your questions. And thank you for your support, guys. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. And until next time, good luck fishing. All right, so one test bite. See how it is. Here you go. <laughs> wow.